everyone welcome back to my channel adventures with amira so i have a pretty big dollar tree haul for you guys today i went by this morning and picked up 75 dollars worth of merchandise trying to just get in and out of there for some band-aids and oh my goodness you guys they had so many cute items for christmas so i'm just going to show you guys this stuff before i even take it inside okay so the first item that i got was this tin and i'm going to be putting together a little float for my daughter to use in a parade this weekend it's called like a mini float so i got a little radio flower wagon and i have to decorate it and put lights on it and tinsel and stuff for a charity of our choice we're actually doing project noel which you could, if you guys aren't familiar with that it's n-o-e-l-l-e -L -L -E. and it's just helping different children have a christmas this year from families that are not able to provide for their kids and so we're going to do a float to bring awareness to that and i wanted to get stuff to decorate that we've never done that before so a lot of this is going to go on the float and then some of it i can just use afterwards so i'll show you what i have for that so the tin i'm going to definitely use because my husband i'm telling you as soon as i get any kind of cookies in the house they tend to disappear even when we make them at Christmas for Santa. So <laughs> I thought that was appropriate. I got some of these little ornaments here and these are the unbreakable ones. We do have this new puppy, so I'm gonna need to have more stuff on the tree that he cannot tear up. I do have a lot of porcelain and crystal ornaments and I'm really trying to figure out where I'm gonna do the decorations. Maybe I can do some of those things up high. I'm just scared about stuff being heavy and falling on him. So that's a consideration as well. I got some more Kleenex because it's cold season and everybody seems to have allergies and colds all at the same time around here. I got a bunch of these garlands. Now, this is really nice. It's a full garland. I thought this would be cute on the float because it has a lot of impact. And I got a few of those. And then this one, I got the red because I actually want to use this on our front post for our porch. And I'll show you guys that. See those two posts right there? I want to put these up like candy canes kind of wrapped down the post because they're white. So I figure with this red garland, that would look nice. And these are a lot thicker than some of the other garlands that they have there at Dollar Tree. So these are nine feet. And last year, I think I had two nine foot for each post and it didn't quite make it. So this year I went ahead and got three. They do tend to fade in the sun, you guys. So they're not really durable for long-term use if you're using them outside. But they are cute and it's a covered porch so hopefully they make it through the season i also got this garland here and i thought this was cute because it has the white on it which makes it look more like snow and i think i want to use this around my son's room i also got some more tissue for the house i normally keep four or five boxes on hand in case the teachers need donations and i really like these kleenex brand tissues so i always have those I got some more paper towels, and I like these custom size ones. These work really well for us. I also got some of this glitter drape. Now, we are doing a little snow village this year, a little Christmas house area in our home, and I'm very excited. My son can't wait to help me set that up. Hopefully, this weekend we'll start on it. But I want to use this in part of it, and then I also wanted to use this in the bottom of that wagon when we set up the poster board which I actually got two of the foam poster boards to try to set this up to make like a giant standing sign on the wagon that she can pull in the parade. They have their Thanksgiving like food items in finally. Our store just got them. They normally come out, you know, like a month ago, but there seems to be a shortage everywhere for stuff. So I went ahead and got this. I got four cans of this for Thanksgiving. And then you never know when you're gonna need chicken broth. I might be making my own cornbread dressing this year. So I got that. Excuse this weird mark on my hand. I'm sorry, I actually burned myself on the oven baking some cookies the other night. Um, I got this fiddle faddle for my husband. But so how cute is this? This is the first year I've seen this one and it looks like little lit up Christmas lights. It's not as thick as those red and green ones that I showed you. It's pretty thin, but I thought for the wagon, I don't want anything really heavy on there anyway. So I was just going to attach this to the top of the sign that we made. And then I got these letters. They're kind of a reddish pink, but I figure they'll work well to just put across the top of the poster to say Project Noel. And then I picked up these little LED lights. These are battery operated, so I thought these would be cute on the float. And then I got two of these. These are just the little Christmas necklace lights and I thought she could wear these in the parade if she wants to. If not, I could just hang these off the float as well. 
I did finally order a new Christmas tree this year, you guys. So, if you are interested in a flocked tree, they have them at Walmart for like $30. No lie. They're not pre-lit, so we could put some lights on them. But for $30, and it was like six and a half feet. So, I had to get that. They didn't even have them out on the floor yet. I was waiting for them to put them out. They only had a display, so I had to wait a few days. But I'm so excited to decorate that tree. Um, it's still almost 90 degrees down here in Florida most days. So I want something that looks like the winter. Maybe it will trick us into feeling like things are a little cooler than they actually are. All right, so this is one of the little ornaments I got. And actually, it's not that small. It's pretty big. But I thought this would be beautiful on a front door wreath or just any kind of home decor. If you have a bigger Christmas tree or you want a statement piece on there, this would be really nice. I got two of those. And then I just fell in love with these little ski lift ornaments. I think these are so cute. I mean, they're like quintessential North Pole looking attire or North Pole looking items. I also got one of these reindeer, which I think I already have one of these in my Christmas decor from last year. For some reason, I just was on like a red and white candy cane kick today. I just decided I wanted to do a whole tree like this, um, separate from my regular tree. So I have a front entryway tree that I probably am going to use these on because it's green. But look at these. They're kind of like, I guess they're just little foam balls wrapped in yarn. But they look like little snowballs, and I thought, how cute, and you get two for a dollar. I really like those. And then they have these little snow booties. Obviously, I'm going for the winter wonderland type thing. But these are cute, and they have the little pom-poms on them too, and you get two for a dollar, so I thought that was a great deal. I also got these candy cane ornaments, and they're pretty large. I think these will be cute statement pieces, and I got a few of those as well. So that's really enough for a small tree right there, especially if you do lights and garlands on there. Um, some of those red garlands would be beautiful in a tree like this. But I have just been looking at so many like bright, white, happy type Christmas things. We normally have a traditional Christmas tree as well that has all of our like memory ornaments, which I can link you guys a video that has a tour of our Christmas tree and like our living room, what we did a few years ago. And a lot of those ornaments are the same. I got these snacks for my husband as well. He likes to take these little pretzels to work. I got some little Christmas village people as well. So I'll show you these first. So these are the three pieces that come in here from the little cobblestone corners type villages. I thought those little trees would be cute on the front porch of some of my bigger houses. And then they have this little mini Santa snowman and a little North Pole sign. Now I think these would be like, if you have larger Christmas village houses like the Lamax or any of those that they sell at Walmart, these are a little bit too small to be like a realistic style Santa, but they would look like yard ornaments. <laughs> you know, like you decorate your front yard for Christmas. So these would be cute for that. Excuse my neighbor's dog. Normally it's my dog, so I can't really say anything. Um, these are some ornament hooks I got because for the white tree, I only had green hooks. So I decided I probably need silver for that white tree that I got. These are able to hold three pounds. So I thought these would be good on our dark cherry fireplace. So I got those and then they had this four pack. And these are good for one pound. And then I got these. They say these will hold up to two pounds each. And then I got some actual command hooks, which are a dollar a piece there, but I went ahead and picked those up. These were a last minute checkout item, the Curad First Aid Portable Packs. And these are just different size band-aids. I thought these would be good to have in the car, just in case. Um, and I've not seen these before at our stores. And then I also found these Vaseline lip therapies in the mint flavor and my son loves green it's hard to find like more masculine lip balm for him um so I went ahead and picked two of these up before he was using the lighter green that's aloe vera but I like mint flavored lip balm I also got some of these waterproof band-aids I recently had something taken care of on my hand at the dermatologist and these work really well if you guys are looking for waterproof band-aids and I like that because they're clear for most of the band-aid they don't really stand out that much since so something's on the top of your hand as you can see right there it's just not as noticeable kind of matches my fair skin tone anyway <laughs> and then I picked up some alcohol prep pads these are just good to have on hand for a variety of things sometimes I use them to wipe off our cell phones and sterilize them so I use them for a lot of different you things. guys I totally forgot I had an entirely separate <laughs> 
hoard of loot that I had gotten from a different store that I had not filmed yet. I was thinking I had filmed it, but I had not. So let's go ahead and add this into this haul because I went to two separate stores trying to find specific items. So here's the village Christmas people that I found. Super cute. They're just little people throwing snowballs. The thing about this is with these items, here's some more. These are the little carolers and there's like a little wishing well. And then there's this adorable tree with some little fences, which I can use this in a lot of different places. But guess what? I saw these three items, these three exact sets of figures taken out of the package, and they were being sold on Etsy for $28.99. I messaged the seller and said, hey, I know you're saying these are vintage, but I just bought these at Dollar Tree last night. Maybe you didn't realize or you bought them from somebody and you're trying to resell, but I wanted to let you know I just bought these same as at nine figurines last night for $3. Which the lady messaged me back and said thank you. And then she lowered her price to $22. So there's that. <laughs> I just thought I would let her know, but I was like, that's crazy. Anyway, um, on to more Christmas stuff. Here are the Cobblestone Village flocked trees that they have for their little Christmas house things. And these are super cute. I found some bottle brush trees too somewhere in here. I got these for the puppy because he definitely has to be green quite often. Yay! I got these little Santa napkins. Super cute. I love anything festive. Not all the Dollar Trees have those either. I got these little small berries because I want to use these in one of our Christmas wreaths that we're doing. And these are just good even for tablescapes. Here's the little bottle brush trees. But I've not seen these at our stores before. And they also have these in white. These little sleighs are too cute. You could actually use these. I think I'm going to put a Santa in one of these for the village. I got this for the puppy as one of his little Christmas presents. I wish I could give them to my Dotson, but goodness, he tears up every stuffed animal I've ever given him. It's normally destroyed in two minutes or less. If you guys have any tips to keep your little Dotsons from chewing up all your toys, uh, please tell me what it is in the comments below. <laughs> All right, I also got this little pet scarf. You guys, come on now. How cute is this? For a dollar, you guys know how much pet costumes are. I thought that was adorable. And then I got these. I figure we can use these for all kinds of things. I've got home decor stuff. You could actually use these as a garland on a tree. I mean, they're pretty long. And then they have the little bells on them too. So I thought that was super cute. And then I got these little trees here. Sorry, I'm trying to get the lighting right out here. These are, let's see, how many is in here? Eight. So these are really cute to be like the little bushes in front of the houses. But this is the first time I've seen these at our store. These are the little 16-piece frosted berries. I got two packs of those. I got some other Christmas napkins. Just because I like this like deeper red color. Sometimes it's more of a brighter red, but I have a lot of this color in my house. We have a whole wall of that color in our dining room. Then I found these little treat sacks, and these are like little croaker sack type material. How cute. They look very festive. I thought these would be good for like teacher gifts and things like this. And then they had these. There's three in a pack, and these just say merry and bright. And this is what they look like. I meant to show you the green ones. You can see in the lighting. A Santa soap dispenser. I thought this was super cute, and that's quite a bit of soap. And these are cranberry scented. I think they have Christmas trees and one other one that smells more like a spice scent. Of course, you know me and the gift bags. But this bag, I had to get. It was absolutely gorgeous. I think that's a great size bag, especially for a dollar. And I love the metallic foil on the front. It reminds me of a Hallmark bag. also got two sets of these little LED wire lights and these are the ones that are on the silver strand so they're not green so they should go well on that white Christmas tree the flock one I was telling you about from Walmart. And then I also got this star that lights up to put on the top 
I thought that was really pretty and it should go with anything. This will either go on our new white tree or go on our foyer tree. They had several different sets of gift bags that were three in a pack for a dollar, which is a great deal. And these are the little prints on there with the little um, cardinals. Anything with a cardinal or a birdhouse always reminds me of my mama. Love you, mama, in heaven. So I tend to pick up anything with little red birds on it. And then I got these. These are super cute. It says Marius Season. And then they're only metallic on one side with the glitter. And then the other side is plain. But I thought these were pretty. We have a lot of plaid in our Christmas decor. That's my Scottish heritage. And that's another reason I got these. They kind of have a, a plaid across the top. These say cheer. And these are interesting because see how they have like a separate piece on top? I thought that was pretty. I also got some of these floral spray picks. I thought these were really pretty. I got these in gold and the darker red. Because I like to just put these in to fill out our tree. I got one of these Believe signs because I thought this was so pretty and definitely will go well in our house. And for a dollar, you guys, I mean like, wow. So it actually is like carved out wood. If you can see that, if you haven't seen these online, I've seen other people hauling these. But yeah, very nice. And they'll just stand up right on our bar area that's by our kitchen. I'll probably put it there. Or I'll put it on one of my shelves in my living room. Some little artificial snow and it's the iridescent kind which I think is so pretty. Two spools of ribbon. I'm thinking of putting these together to use on our tree this year. So we have the traditional type plaid with gold and then this is just solid gold to kind of intertwine in between. And then I found these little plaid ornaments. Now I think these are so cute. I mean they're just traditional Christmas colors which I do have a lot of but they're more elegant for the tree that I have a lot of crystal and stuff on but I can put these down low so that the puppy cannot hopefully tear them up I'm sure he'll think they're one of his balls and grab them but at least he won't you know get into the glass or anything like that I'm so worried about that this year I really like this type of ornament see the shape on that it's very like Victorian looking to me so because of our traditional tree and how big it is I think these will look really pretty on there and I love anything with glitter so that when it turns a little in the light under the Christmas lights it just seems to sparkle from a distance and there's nothing prettier than a Christmas tree at night with no other lights on comment below if you're with me on that I love Christmas trees especially in the evenings and then I got these as well also kind of a more historical looking ornament my grandmother used to have ornaments that looked similar to this but they were glass I also got one spool of the red ribbon because I've used that before in the past and I needed some to add to that for a wreath I was working on. And then this is new, I've not seen this before. These are little wire lights with the leaves on them, which I thought was so pretty. I mean, I don't know, I've never seen that before, but those are super cute. I was thinking about these too around Halloween. Like you could do so many like fall tablescapes, Christmas tablescapes. You could use these for like Greek costumes and stuff. I had like tons of ideas for these lights, but they only had one set at our store. So I snapped that up. And then this year I'm gonna try these for a change. We've never used these before. It's the little icicle lights and these just light up. They have little LED lights inside and they come with the little batteries. And I think those will be really pretty on our larger tree. And then I also found these gorgeous gift bags. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I love Christmas wrap, Christmas gift bags, and especially I love Thomas Kincaid looking items. And this is just stunning to me. I think this is absolutely beautiful. It has the glitter finish on there, which is so pretty and classic. It only has the glitter on one side, if you, in case you guys were wondering. But the way the artistry is done on here, it does look almost like it's lit up, which is beautiful. And then there was this bag as well. I got two of the first one and then one of this one. And this one has the little lights on the little cars that look like they're illuminated, as well as on the tops of the buildings. But how pretty. Just a quintessential Christmas portrait. All right, you guys, that's everything. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Let me know what your favorite items were, if you saw anything that you liked. If you don't mind hitting that subscribe button and like, I would really appreciate the support for my channel. It makes a big difference. Thanks so much, and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.